Hey guys, Tarek with Cycle and FPV, and I'm getting, I'm doing a very quick video of, sorry, a very quick video to show you the board orientation. I had a customer ask me, how are you going to do the board orientation if I take a board and I turn it, you know, to where the corner of the board is facing the front, so I can fit more on here. Case in point would be like this little mini beast that we're creating right now, right? To fit this much equipment inside a frame this small, I could not leave the board flat, right, uh, facing the flat side facing forward. I had to put a corner forward, or else it wouldn't work. Okay, so in that case. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that, okay? And it's called board orientation. It's pretty simple. There are some tricky things to it. But right now, we're going to cover the simple stuff. So let me do this. Let me go ahead and put this right here. And what I'm going to show you here is I've got a basic frame. And just keep in mind, the three dots here represent the front. And then I've got a used um, uh, uh, racer starboard here, all in one board. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on here, just like this, to, to address the orientation. And I'm going to plug in the USB. Okay, and I do have beta flight here, so let me do a three screen uh, view. One, two, three. Let's go ahead and do it that way. Okay, so we've got beta flight up there, and everything looks good. And so, what I want to do now is I want to go ahead into beta flight. Go to, I'm going to connect, and just to make sure we're on the defaults here, I'm going to go ahead and type defaults so that none of the old settings uh, on this carry through. Type defaults, hit enter. And what we can tell now, what you want to notice now, is the fact that we have our arrow right here. This arrow points forward, which means it's pointing towards the front of the quad, okay, from the factory. Anywhere the arrow is, every board usually has an arrow. Even this multi-star has one. And the weird part about this one is the USB is actually on the front, and the arrow here points to the front. This board's fried, by the way. Um, okay, so when I go to connect, and I, I always come to the setup page, obviously, and click reset, and then calibrate. So I've got everything sitting in front of me. There's my drone, right? So I'm going to lift it up, and that means it's right. I'm going to go left, right, down. And so I know that my board orientation right now that's programmed in Betaflight is correct on here, okay? But here's the deal. Let's say now I want the USB and the XT60 to come out the left side. So I'm going to take my frame, or my board I mean, and I'm going to turn it to where the stuff is, the boards are coming out, sorry, the pieces are coming out the left. And now all of a sudden my arrow that was once pointing forward is now pointing to the right. So I have to tell Betaflight that I've turned my board, right? And if you notice, it's 90 degree turn, which means it's exactly 90 degrees, not 45 like it's aimed at an arm, but at 90, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my configuration tab, and I'm going to say, okay, instead of zero degrees, which is the default from the factory, I am going to have it turn 90 degrees. And because it turned to the right, it's a positive 90. If you turn it to the left, it's a negative 90, okay? So let's just put a positive 90 and click save. Okay, now watch what happens. Now when I connect back and I hit reset and calibrate, watch my drone. So my front is still up here, although the arrow is pointing this way, but you see, I've kept my uh, orientation has been adjusted now to maintain the front of the board being, or the front of the quad being this way, 90 degrees uh, uh, off of where the arrow is pointing. So let's say I need to make room like I did for this quad by turning the board uh, at a 45 degree angle. Sorry, excuse me one second. I got, oh, I might have, to, I apologize guys, give me one second. I'm gonna have to take this. It's my son. Okay, thanks guys, sorry. Uh, my son was not feeling well, so we're actually gonna go uh, pick him up from school and my phone's gonna be buzzing for a minute, so hang tight. Let me just make sure I've got everything taken care of that I need to. Um, uh, okay. Okay, good. So that's fine. Uh, thank you uh, very much for your patience. Okay, so basically what I was saying was we've turned it 90 degrees. So now when we go, even though the board's pointed this way, everything's, the orientation has now adjusted for it, right? So if we want to take the board and turn it 45 degrees, now I don't have screws set up for that, but let's just use our imagination here. Uh, so I've got the board turned 45 degrees, right? Which means it's aimed at motor, motor two, okay? So if it's aimed at motor two, the arrow is aimed at motor, motor two, then I'm going to go to my configuration settings, and I'm going to go down instead of 90, I'm just going to put 45, and I'm going to click save and reboot, okay? And then when I connect, here's what's going to happen. Uh, as I connect and calibrate here, there we go. Now all of a sudden, when I go forward, it knows that that's up, and again, the orientation is right, right? So you've got you've to gotta imagine this thing tilting because I don't have it screwed down like that, and I'm not sure that I'm going to. Um, so, well, here, let me just... Uh, I don't want to short the board out, that's the thing. So if I just hold it like that, and you know where the front is, so if I go forward, it knows, if I go backwards, and then let me, let me calibrate this again. So basically 45 degrees, um, and then if I go left and so forth. Now, so that's how you do the orientation. If the board is still face up, right? Uh, so let's reset that, calibrate, and I'm gonna put this back down now. Okay, 
Now, let's say that you want to turn the board uh, to the left, right? So now we're taking the front of the board and we're actually going to turn it left instead of right. So if we turn it left, what we're going to do is we're going to tell the board, okay, there we go. Instead of being uh, 90 degrees, uh, you are going to be negative 90 degrees. Okay, left is negative, right is positive, right? So here goes. So it's now left, it's to the left 90 degrees, all right, which would be the same as to the right 270 degrees, but I'll show you why that's not going to happen. Okay, so calibrate. Let me get this thing to level out. There we go. And now, if you look, when I go forward, it's forward, left, right, down. Okay, so Theoretically, if I turn it to the left three times 90 degrees, I'm at a positive 90 or I'm at a negative 270, right? But when you try to type in negative 270, for example, let me show you. When you type in negative 270, you can't. So it'll automatically uh, limit you. So let me click save and you, you see how it went back to negative 90? It's not gonna happen. It's gonna go back to the default now. Uh, so you're not gonna go negative 270 if you turn this to the, I, I don't know how you would make three lefts instead of making one right. I guess that's the old joke that used to be three lefts equals a right. So um, what you'll want to do, sorry, let me check that real quick. Apologize. Make sure that everything's okay for the kids. Okay. So what you want to do is you're going to stop at the 180 mark, okay? So if you turn this board, uh, if you take this board and you turn to where the XT60 is now facing the front and the front of the board is now facing the back, you'd go to configuration and you could pick positive 180, right? And click save. And then when it reboots and you connect, uh, your board orientation will be spot on, okay? And you can go to configuration, you can say, okay, well, positive 180 and negative 180 are the same. So I'm gonna click save, okay? And when I connect, my board's gonna be the exact same, all right? So at the 180 mark, it doesn't matter which sign you put, but just to understand that until that point, if you take it negative 45 degrees, right? Then it's, if you take it to the left 45, then it's negative 45. If you take it to the right 45, it's positive 45, and the board orientation will do that. Now, here's the kicker. Let's say that you take your board, and we're gonna go back and we're gonna reset this to zero, okay? Zero, and click save, all right? which means that the board is actually gonna be sitting this way, right? Okay, now we're gonna connect, make sure that our orientation is back to normal from the factory, and let's see, look at it, and yep, it is. Okay, so we're good. Let's say you flip the board upside down, which I've done. I mean, we've had to in the past for certain things, right? So let me reset and calibrate, okay? So now I take the board, and I say, okay, I wanna turn it, upside down for whatever reason for whatever build I was doing I've had to do this okay whether it's to clear height uh, to put something else on the top whatever it may be uh, excuse me one sec sorry guys gotta tend to these things so bear with me please You know, never mind. I won't get into it. <sighs> all right. Anyway, so uh, we've got this board upside down, right? But the, the quad is still right side up, all right? So what we're going to do is in configuration. Now we're going to look and we're going to say, okay, if you took the board and you turned it this way, meaning you're rolling it, right? You're going to tell it, I rolled it. And I rolled it um, 180 degrees. Okay, now it's left to right. It doesn't matter. So just click save and reboot and check this out. We're going to reset, and now we're back to normal again, okay? So from here, oh my gosh, I apologize, guys. I'm really sorry, and I would stop the video normally. Okay, so uh, now let's just say you turn it upside down, and then you need to turn it 90 degrees, negative 90 degrees for whatever reason. So you still follow the same rule. You go back here, and you say, okay, the the... The uh, adjustment here is still going to be negative 90 with a roll of 180. Okay, so now watch what happens. Okay, here we go. Calibrate. Okay, up, left, right, down. 
perfect. Everything's set. No problems at all. Everything is the way it's supposed to be. You can see everything, all, all the orientation is fine. So just remember, depending on how you do it, okay, um, I would, you can roll it or you can yaw it, however you want. But remember, to the left is negative, to the right is positive. And if you hit the 180 degree mark, I use a rule of thumb, which is I always just stay on the positive side. So unless I'm going to be between 181 and 360, uh, I stay on the positive. If I'm going to be between 181 and 360, then I stay in the negatives, right? So uh, I always try to just use the positive numbers as much as possible, or 181 or negative 90 would be the same as a positive 270 is what I'm trying to get at. Um, so that's it. That's how you do board orientation. I'm sorry about all the interruptions on the videos, but my kid's sick and I really want to make sure he gets home. And my lovely wife, Samantha, is out there right now dealing with the, uh, let's see, what is it called? The who can pick who up when it's your day of possession, but school hasn't ended crap. That that the, that the courts are lovely about. Uh, so thanks to the courts for making everything so easy. Uh, other than that, guys, listen, that's it for this one. If you need any help with anything, please hit me up. You can always find me at targetcyclonfpv.com. And uh, sorry, let me, I meant to do this real quick. Uh, apologize. There we go. Okay, let's make screen bigger. Uh, so anyways, again, like I was saying, you can always hit me up at targetcyclonfpv.com. And uh, I always ask you to please follow me on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I try to put videos out, out as much as possible. I'm kind of late in the game, so I don't have that many people following, but I've got about $250,000 worth of inventory sitting behind me. So if there's something you need help with, I'm willing to do it. And I've already paid for it, so you don't have to worry about me having to order to do whatever, okay? I try to do as fast as I can. Other than that, guys, listen, God bless y'all. Be safe, be careful, spend time with your family. Trust me when I tell you, you don't know when the time I'd be taken away. So please make the most of it. Put the drones down for a little bit. Go hug your kids. Go hug your wife, your husband, whoever it may be, uh, your significant other. Whatever it is, spend time with them, okay? Because time ends eventually. Anyways, other than that, God bless. Fly safe. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.